One to one is one of the most important things you can do as a manager to manage and lead your team. They're absolutely key parts of what should be your operating system in how you work. And yet they're often misunderstood and don't deliver to their full potential. I've already done two videos on what makes a good one-to-one -one and questions to ask that really bring one-to-ones alive. They're linked below if you're interested. But in this one-to-one, -one, I'm focusing on the meeting notes and a tool that will help you capture what is agreed in that meeting and uh, improve both the efficiency in the way in which you and your team member work together, but also the effectiveness of their work. My name is Helen Bryant. I am a coach and a trainer. I focus on management and leadership and I'm on a mission to help managers everywhere to learn the skills that help them thrive in the often complicated workplace in which we work now. That give them confidence to lead their teams wherever they are. Now if you're watching this and you're a manager, I'm going to describe a scenario It might be a bit familiar to you. So you have your one-to-one -one and you might be writing notes on your notebook and or digitally or your team member, they're writing notes on their notebook. You're talking, you're agreeing things and you leave. And uh, then work comes along and we get on with work. Now later in the year, for example, you might be doing a half year review or an appraisal and you come along to thinking back about that person's work. And you start looking through your notebook, you start looking through your digital notes, looking around, and uh, you spend a lot of time assessing where that person is. You can waste a lot of time. And that's one of the challenges that I often see with one-to-ones is that the manager and their direct report don't have one single version of the truth, that they haven't done meeting notes together, that mean that they have kept themselves on track, made themselves accountable to each other, and summarised what was agreed and what happened in that one-to-one. -one. So when they come to reviewing it, it's a very ad hoc way of doing it. Similarly, it can just be the next one-to-one -one where you're going, what was we agree? What did we talk about? And you're scrabbling through your notes, trying to look at it. That ad hoc way of managing your one-to-ones can undermine your effectiveness as a manager. So in this video, I am sharing an approach and a template for you to download. It's down below so you can get it that you could use with your team in order to bring that one version of the truth and clarity to what has been agreed. So what are the benefits of getting this one version of the truth, the meeting notes that you both have? Well, I think the biggest thing is that spending just a little bit of time writing down what's been agreed brings accountability because it helps you keep on track. A lot can happen in a week or two weeks depending on your frequency of one-to-ones and it just reminds you what you agreed to do for each other. So it's a tool that helps you keep on top of your work. It also is a place to record what has happened or what has broader conversation. So for example, career conversations or development plan updates or feedback so that you can remember the moment, the more detailed conversations that you have between you. It's not about writing down everything you say between each other. It's about a little connection point that keeps you on track and helps you make each one-to-one -one and each of the reviews that you need to lead as a manager as easy to do as possible. So accountability is a big win, but also it should save you time and keep you focused on the important things. So if that's what we're aiming for, how do you do it? So I would recommend that one version of, two, of the truth is a digital copy. And I want you to think of it instead of lots of individual files in a shared file, about one shared document that just keeps repeating down. So it builds like a stream of one-to-ones. Now at 12 weeks for each quarter, you might break it so it doesn't be, and, and save that one and then start another so it doesn't become too long. But 
it is a great way to keep all the information in one place. And a one-to-one -one notes rarely are longer than really one page. Each document would be about 12 pages long, but if you wanted to, you could just keep going and keep them all in one document. Okay, so that would be a one-to-one -one document stream, as it were. Now, if you use meeting apps like Fellow, which is my favorite, or Decisions, they can create streams for you straight off. And it's such an easy way to just keep on top of what was said before or when something was talked about. But many, most people I find don't have those apps yet, I would say, I think in time they'll come. But so a shared doc is by far the easiest way to do this. Something you can both write on that it is shared in a shared file between the two of you. That's what we're aiming for. So what I'm gonna do now is take you through the template so that you can see how it works. So when you download this template, this is what you are going to see straight away. What I'll do here is talk you through two things. One, how to use the actual template for each one-to-one, -one, and then secondly, how to use this template as a tool. So this is what you can see, and obviously you insert in the name of the person whose one-to-one -one it is. So that's the direct report. Remember, as a manager, you should always be thinking this is their one-to-one, -one, not your one-to-one -one with them. So you want them to own this document first and foremost. And obviously then stick in your name as well. Now here, I've put the instructions for how to use the template, but I'm obviously going to explain that to you. So when you're used to doing it, you could just delete this from the file. What you then to do is to put in any key links. Now these are links to documents like your objectives or any documentation in your organization which is part of your performance management framework and development. The reason for this is quite simple. It's about when you're in your one-to-one, -one, sometimes you just need to open it up and refer to it. And this is a really quick and easy way of accessing those documents. This is just saving you time on search and speeding up access. So sticking in the links in this document is a great way of keeping them front of mind. And then you would come down to what is in this and how do you use it? First off, the person who's one-to-one -one it is, you would really want to fill in the top end of this document. So the date, who's there, and an update from their last one-to-one, -one, demonstrating progress on priorities. This obviously needs to be put in before the meeting. It helps with the preparation for the one-to-one. -one. Now, this is not everything that has happened. It is the few key notes that allows you to know what has been done and move forward that will then shape your discussions in the one-to-one. -one. What is also really useful is for both of you to capture what you want to focus on today. Again, remember, it is for your direct report to say what they want to focus on. Therefore, if they do that before the meeting and you open this document a little bit before the meeting, you would see that what was there and it gives you a little bit of time to think about it. So this is in the preparation stage of any one-to-one. -one. The rest is completed during the meeting. So by the end of the meeting, you want to have captured what are the agreed priorities for the individual until their next one-to-one. -one. Remember this clarity and the alignment between you increases accountability and helps work get done really, because when it comes to the next one-to-one, -one, you'll be able to refer back to it and check that progress is being made. Now, there may also be topics in the individual's personal development that they want to talk about. Again, remember, you're emphasising that their personal development sits with them. What you're aiming for with personal development is little and often because it keeps it front of mind and it's much more likely to be worked against. So having this as a regular topic in your one-to-ones, I think, really helps. As a manager, a great question to ask, what did you learn this week? It's an opportunity for coaching. Next, feedback. Now, this is just a click box because you may not want to record what the feedback was. That's really up to you. But I do think it's good to keep it front of mind that your feedback moves both ways between you. It encourages and systemizes those conversations we often don't want to have. Remember, feedback isn't always negative. Positive feedback can go a long way encouraging the behaviours that you want to see within your team. 
There's an area to write notes on anything that's been discussed. And then you can click when you, we've summarized where we are. We are absolutely aligned at the end of the meeting, what we're going to be focusing on. And you can click to confirm that the date and time of the next one. So this is both a tool to keep you on track in your discussion and a place to record the key discussion points or actions from the meeting. So how it turns into a feed is for each one-to-one, -one, you want to take this, select it, and then cut and paste it to the top of this worksheet. It'll always complete about a page. It works best if you always have the latest one-to-one -one at the top, because you're much more likely to be referring to that first. If you remember, I said it works quite well if you do use one of these files for a quarter. So 12 weeks worth of one-to-ones is a good way of recording what's been going on. It makes it really easy for you when you are thinking back for appraisals and reviews. So you would just take this part, click on it, and whoops, I overshot a little bit there, paste in. Remember to always write on the clean version, not the template version. Otherwise you end up next time taking it, copying and then re-editing it out. So it saves you time. And that's how you build up a flow. If you also download this template, you will see I've put in an example. You can see how it could be used with a one-to-one -one environment. There you go. That's how to use this tool and template. If you think this tool will be useful for you and your team, you've got to think about how to launch it. You don't want your team to think, oh my goodness, even more admin. We want people to think this is really useful. So I would start off by asking them for feedback on your one-to-one -one so far. See what they think's working and see what they think could make them even better. This is a great practice anyway, in making sure these moments stay live and real and that they're delivering for you both. But then bring up the issue of documentation if you're both writing notes separately and suggest this as a way of working and then see what they say, get their feedback on it and then come to a plan where you're going to try it out. Now you're changing habits and this can notoriously be a bit tricky. But, oh, I'm not sure. And also accountability and transparency can feel quite uncomfortable for people. But remember, transparency brings accountability and it also brings trust so recognize that change may be a bit uncomfortable so i would say let's try this over the next 12 weeks because that is i think about the right time to change the way of working and for new habits to be built but also by that point you will have you will have gone around and found out is it working what's not working what do we need to do to make it work with the goal that you have this transparent documentation between you i promise you the people i know who do this are so on top of their work it's it just becomes a quick and easy way for them to collaborate together on their one-to-ones and know where they are so i would really recommend giving it a go trying it out so if you want to access the template you can click just below if you have any questions on this ask me in the comments or reach out to me on social. I'm on both LinkedIn and Instagram. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of each and every video that I release and share it with your friends or colleagues if you find it really useful. They too may find it would help with managing their teams. Okay, until next week, I'll see you then. Bye.